What's going on YouTube? Jay's Vapes here. Welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in. Today for review, we're going to take a look at this Watofo Serpent Elevate. This is from Suck My Mod, Matt from Suck My Mod. Uh, I never had the original Serpent. I'm just now getting into RTAs and I won this in a giveaway on Indoor Smokers. <laughs> I've never won anything from a big uh, YouTube reviewer. This is a first time. And I almost missed it. I almost didn't see it. Uh, the way they do their giveaways now is, you know, with the whole YouTube policies and all that stuff. I don't know. They changed the way they do their giveaways. And each month they send out a newsletter. And if you don't read that newsletter each month, you know, to see who wins, you won't even know. So like I said, I almost missed it. But that's awesome. Uh, thank you to Indoor Smokers for this. I really uh, appreciate it. Thank you for Watofo for sending it to Indoor Smokers. Uh, but yeah, guys, just a quick little look at it. Uh, like I said, this is, I'm just now getting into RTAs. I've got a love hate relationship with RTAs because they are so much, uh, driven on your builds, your cottons. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing with an RTA, you know, it, it's going to be, it'd be a bad experience. It's so finicky with that wicking. You know, every RTA is some more than others. You know, too loose and you're going to get spit back. You're going to get it drowning out the, the deck. Too tight, it's going to get dry hits. But yeah, guys, with Tofo Serpent Elevate. I'm going to show you all everything comes in the package. Uh, this is the package it comes in. Of course, I got the junk. I got junk all in there. It ain't organized in there. <laughs> but that's the Serpent Elevate. It says, uh, this kit includes the Serpent Elevate user manual, Japanese cotton, extra drip tip, Clapton coils, 510 drip tip adapter, extra tube, extra O-rings, and extra screws. <clears throat> so, you're going to get this little Watofo shoestring uh, quick wick deal. I've never used any of these quick wicks before. I've actually wanted to try them. So, I used everything that they sent in this build. Uh, I watched uh, Suck My Mods reveal on it when he revealed it. And he said that uh, everything that comes in the build is good for it. That it, that's a good vape, but everything that comes with it. I absolutely hate Watofo's packaging. I've had several things from Watofo, and I hate their packaging. There, you know, it's always in this deep styrofoam, and it's so that so far down in there, like it's so hard to get out. But you're gonna get this, like I'm assuming it's plastic. I'm assuming it's some kind of hard plastic, like a tinted bubble glass uh i haven't i bet it looked good on there actually i haven't uh, actually put that on there but you know hold a little bit more juice you get an extra drip tip i'm not even gonna try to get it out of there guys i mean honestly it's so far down in there <laughs> can i do it can i do it i'm telling you this packaging man sucks pretty pretty little blue drip tip uh like a tinted, same color tinted as that bubble glass on the drip tip that's installed with it. I actually really like this drip tip. It's real small, but I really like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Nice little drip tip. So, down here on the bottom, if I can get it open, just like just like always, you got a big old giant user manual. Uh, I'm sure all different kind of languages. This is where your coils are going to be. You come with two of them. These are... Uh, 0.33 N80 uh, coils, range is power range 40 to 55 watts, three millimeter inner diameter. Pretty good coils, uh, no complaints for me. Get your little screwdriver down in there. You got your Allen wrench because these are grub screws. You got your uh, O rings and extra grub screws. And then you get this little bitty. I don't know what you call it, a little coily rod, a little coily tool to help you put your coils in place. But yeah, guys, that's everything that's in the package. I've got it strewn everywhere now. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this juice out of this tank so I can show y'all the insides of it because I know y'all want to see the insides. I'm not gonna do a build or nothing like that. Uh, like I said, just show you the insides of it. But there's a look at the tank. I don't know how well y'all can see that. You got dual airflow on both sides. You got this serpent uh logo on there suck my mod on the other side's logo 
The bottom of it says Serpent Elevate. It's got a little serpent on it with Tofo. Not the best engraving on there. It's really light. Like you can barely, you can barely see it. Um, but I like the airflow on top. It's got this uh, like snake skin type pattern on it. And it's really, really grippy, really easy to grip. Top feel, you just unscrew it. Unscrew it on top. I, I don't like, I don't like the unscrew top feels. I don't know why we can't just have a push open or a flip open. That'd be so much easier. She got two decent size uh, slots there. They could be a little bit bigger, but not too bad. That's how you're gonna feel it. So like I said, let me get this juice out of it real quick and then I'll show you all the deck. All right guys, so I got the deck apart. Got the, this thing, it doesn't hold a whole lot of juice. So if you can get the juice level just barely below that chimney there, then it won't leak out. It won't spill your juice everywhere. But if it's over that chimney and you take this part, you're gonna, you're gonna make a mess. But there's a look at the deck. Like I said, I used the coils. I used the little cotton they sent. I used everything they sent. Just a single coil. It's not a very big deck. Uh, pretty small deck. You got these, got these nice little grub screws right here. The airflow is just two little bitty tiny holes. Two little tiny holes on each side. It's gonna go up through there. Kind of goes at an angle. Hits the sides of that coil, hits the bottom of the coil. Uh, but like I said, Wiccan is where this thing, uh, just like our all RTAs, you know, the first time I wicked it, I guess I wicked it a little too tight, which I do all the time. I'm still new to this. I'm still learning myself. But I wicked it just a little too tight, and it wasn't keeping up. You know, it just, I would get just like muted hits. Not so much dry hits, but just like muted. And you take it apart and look at it, and the cotton would be, you know, just not fully saturated. I played around with it. I thinned out the cotton a lot, stuffed it back in there, trimmed it up a little bit. And as you can see, uh, it's very saturated now, very wet, very saturated. So the vape is a whole lot better now. But these RTAs, uh, like I said, not some of them are easier than others, but this is one that I'm gonna say is not, I would not recommend this for beginners. Uh, Cause like I said, it's just so heavily relies on how you wick that thing. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, I don't know what else I can say about it. <laughs> we got a 0 .33 coil in there at 45 watts. Pretty good, man. The airflow is super, super smooth on this. It's more of a restricted lung hit. It's not, I mean, it's not just wide open. It's not tons of airflow. I don't know how well y'all seen that, but there's two little bitty, two little bitty airflow slots are not very big. Uh, so it's more of a restricted type. Got the top airflow, so it's not gonna leak on you. I mean, you may get some, if you wick it too loose, you're gonna get some gurgle and some spit back. You may flood that deck but it's not gonna leak on you from the top airflow. That's the great thing about top airflow. You know, the Serpent Elevate was bottom airflow. And I think that was the main complaint was leaking on people. So they went back, redesigned it. They come out with this one. The flavor is good. The flavor is, is pretty good, but it's not fantastic. It's definitely not the greatest flavor I've had, uh, but it's pretty good. Like I said, it all depends on you. Could I get better flavor with another cool or some different cotton? I don't know, probably, maybe so. But like I said, I just used everything they sent with it and it, it's, it's working pretty good. Never been into RTA. Like I said, just getting into them. Never been into single coils. I've always been a dual coil lover myself. Uh, but I'm starting to like it, man. These, these coils like this, single coil 0.33, and that's exactly what it's aiming out to. Exactly what they said it was. Uh, you can rock it at 45 watts. That's I think the recommended was 35, 45, something like that. And you can rock it on a single battery mod like this and just have battery life all day. You know, you throw a dual coil on there, you're gonna be switching out batteries. You know, you throw a dual coil on there with a low ohm build and you vaping 90 to 100 watts, you're gonna switch out batteries all day. But with this one, I can go all day long on that one battery. So that's it guys, just a quick look at the Serpent Elevate. Uh, really nice, like I said, I really appreciate it. I know Indoor Smoker's not gonna watch this video, <laughs> but I really appreciate sending it to me. Uh, like I said, never won one of those big giveaways before. 
I wouldn't recommend this to beginners. If you know what you're doing with RTAs, then I say, yeah, I definitely recommend it. I'm not crazy about the colors of it. I don't know how I forgot to mention that. This uh, media blasted silver color, they're calling it stainless steel. It's not stainless steel. All the colors are like that matte finish. Some people like that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. It's hard to get it to match anything. That's why I just got it on this flat black mod, my, my new Aegis mod. But yeah, it's hard to get it to match anything. If you're OCD about matchy matchy, it's gonna be hard to get this one to match to anything. But that's it guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Y'all come back tomorrow for another review. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Y'all hit that like button for me. And this is Jay's Vape. Sam Murray, people, don't drip and drive.